How we doing, everybody? Welcome back once again here to Soundhead Entertainment. As always, I am your boy, Eddie Soundhead. We are back here at everybody's favorite. The King has returned. Wreckfest is once again among us, and we have got some new stuff to try out. We had a new track that just dropped on the workshop from Nitro Stunt Racing called Jump It Up. It looks pretty sick. And what better way to jump it up than with the iFly car that Chastain just won with at Coda not too long ago. We're going to take on this field of bombs. We're going to give them a run for their money. Let's get to it. And away we go with what has to be one of the finest paint schemes we've ever rolled into Wreckfest with. Shout out to my boy Drive Through for hooking us up with this one. I can't even claim it, but we can sure ding it up right into the first corner. The meme lives on. Christopher Bell, why would you do this right into the path of Ricky? And I'm making Hot Wheels with Brad immediately. This is not how we start races, people. This is not how this should go. Look what you rats did to my beautiful car. We left Brad stranded back there upside down. We got a bunch of animals in the way. Haley, could you not, please? We can't even drive away from this. We can get up the hill. I believe it. I, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing from Justin Haley. Absolute menace. Just pu public enemy out here. Holding up traffic, doing donuts in the racing line. What exactly are we accomplishing here? Got another jump coming up. Is it a paved jump? Well, I get to find out. Will it matter? Will I just land on Ty Dillon? I think I just might. And we do. We take him out of the race by dropping on his head. Oh, no. It's going to come back to me in full force and does it ever. There it is. A twister of death that I totally deserved. I know the United Nations is probably pretty busy right about now, but we got to take whatever the hell I just did and designate it as a war crime and punish it because look at it. We just laid a square on his dome and we're, we're gonna get to what happened to me. But first, we gotta pay respects to Ty Sindrick. My only complaint about this track so far is that the track side cameras for the replay system just do not exist. They are non-existent at all. So we're gonna have to free cam, me dropping on the deuce and then bam, flopping and flailing around up to the 42, nails us and just sautés us, really. Just have to hold it low here. I'm gonna try to keep the NASCAR rules alive and honest here by Keeping at least two wheels on the uh, curb strip there, and Eric Elmerol, he's gonna disregard all rules immediately. And abandon the regard for human lives around him, and sorry, Bubba, I need a little help turning around. Oh, Brad, what are you doing, buddy? Those RFK penalties really hit him hard, man. He's just doing donuts, he's just lost out there. <laughs> that is a real shame. That is something you hate to see. Uh, oh, you hate to see someone just turning completely the wrong way, buddy. We are going to the right. I know that's a little strange for us, but we can do it. Austin Dillon, you can also line yourself up for the pack of a lifetime, you dope. Oh, look what you did to my car. To hell with you, look at me. Oh no, I'm gonna get packed by in there. It is. Couldn't even get it out fast enough. And they squared me away again, too nice. Thanks guys. I should have, I, 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 ah! What, I can't, can we please stop? We're having the long one here. Somebody cue the Applebee's commercial. Gee, oh my Lord. I'm literally gonna blow a gasket. Thankfully, I think National beat the living shit out of Ed Day has concluded. So now we can try to beat up on Busher in return, who seems to be a regular victim of mine lately. And I just get him again. I sure did. There he goes. Oh, God. This really is the greatest sponsor, like track car. Oh, my God. And it, it, that is Brad Keselowski, too, isn't it? From the grave, laying in the middle of the road at the end of a blind jump. Why must you do that? Oh, my God. He got hit again. We, uh, we need to extract the AI from Brad's car there, that 90 laying there. We need to investigate it at a microbial scale. And unfortunately, since we can't do that, this has got to be the next best thing where we just pound him down the side of the ramp. And that I thought we pushed him out of the way enough. Apparently not the 48 comes through and gives him one again, just for good measure. I own this sector. This is the, this sector belongs to me. It is permanently purple. If you waste would get out of the way, that really would be grand. All of you, thank you. What are we doing back there? I'd love to know, but I don't have time. And who is this buffoon? It's Kyle Bush. Well, unfortunately for you, Kyle, I'm just, I'm not in the mood. I'm just plain and simple, not in the mood. So we'll go ahead and see you around, bub. Well, this, uh, this is a little fitting, isn't it? I feel like just out of principle, I gotta do this. We'll be seeing you around there, buddy. I can't be doing too much of that. I am representing Dig Nation here with my health bar, and we've lost the race to Kurt Bush. If it's not one Bush, it's another. Well, you guys better hope I can't reach you. That's all I gotta say. Oh, just got to the tail of Ricky. Is he gonna save that? Oh my God, he is. Am I gonna steal the spot from him? Oh my God, I am. Was that the biggest red move of all time? I think it was. And we're gonna only come home with a lowly seventh, too. It's not like that was for the 
win or a podium or anything. That was for chump change. I have you bums locked down on restarts here. I'll push you, Brisk. I'll, I'll give you a little help into the corner is what we'll call that. So I'm getting some of my own here. Please don't turn me off. I'm turning Brad Keselowski over here. And I, this rivalry just continues for no good reason. And I'm all the way off the track now. Officials, don't look. Don't look at this. The six still striking fear into my heart. We got like a Lucas Soil on the edge train car race going on up here until we didn't. Until we just absolutely don't. That thing got broken up and dismantled. And now we got my buddy Briscoe up here. I should put his winning car. Oh, no, maybe I won't. Holy hell, he tried to kill me. Off the and into Alex. But when we go, Briscoe just made an attempt on my life. And then <laughs> there's a few attempts being made all around us here. Oh, my God. Get me on the racetrack, please. I have seen enough. Get me the hell out of here. Look, there's Bedlam back there. Oh, who is this? Yeah, just parking backwards in the racing line on the exit of the corner. That's no biggie. And there goes Cold Trick. What are you doing? What are you doing? How do you lose it right there? You eating ice cream in there, bro? Oh my God, why? Why must we park behind blind jumps? Why do we got to do this? The 48 car experiencing hack-like behaviors and only blow my doors off much. I wonder if the draft works when you're 40 feet in the air. I don't know. Well, that wasn't quite 40 feet, but we won't worry about that. We'll worry about Ryan Blaney and the fact that his bumper is already pretty much entirely gone. Keep it up there, buddy. What are you doing? Get bodied, bro. Soul captured. And we lost to Kurt Busch again. Neat. Well, if you have a more hopeful outlook on what we're doing here today, you might even want to call that progress right there, especially since every panel on our car isn't totally smashed in. Let's not become a living meme into turn one. And Almirola with the assist about turning Busher into turn one. That's going to get us through there. Hell yeah. I'm going to try not to land on anybody on the end of this ramp, but no promises there. We went over the trunk of Ty Dillon. There, oh, there goes one guy out of line. I was about to say, we got a bunch of like single file Sandys over here. Can we please do something here? I'll spice things up. There goes Blaney and Elliot and company. We got a bunch of people going around. We got more up here. We're going to just pile right into that one at first. Look, I see a Denny car. I got to do it. Where the hell did everybody even go? Where is? Oh, there's Denny. All right. Oh, there's everybody else. All right. Hiding over the blind jumps once again in their natural habitat. We got to look at this series of unfortunate events again from on board and just see where everything went wrong. First of all, that was where things went right, if you ask me, honestly. Just pile drive through the field. This, unfortunately, is where my theory kind of came to an end. I was half aiming for the wreck, hoping it would be gone by the time it got there. It was not even close to doing that, but it was worth the shot. And then this one I didn't even know was there, and I just ran into it anyway, as is somewhat tradition. Come on, Seed Belly. You're about to see these hands. I took you out in Atlanta. I can do it again, damn it. I'll do it right here. We'll get you right now. There you go. Did I lie? I think not. We are gaining on Kevin. I belong in Fast and the Furious for these drifts, and here he is. I'm hitting him. I'm taking you down. I'm not giving you a chance. We got custom scheme on custom scheme violence. I didn't even, I didn't even slow down a little bit. Oh, <laughs> what does that remind you of? I've seen this act before. Hold on, we're still going. As far as this goes, I really have no explanation for this. My blood lust just kind of took over at this point. We really did lay a good one down right in the radiator on the 45 of Kurt Busch's car. That wasn't actually him. And then we laid one right in the passenger seat of that car and toasted him. Final jump on the horizon with 12 seconds to spare. I fly through the sky with all those different planes and gliders that are absolutely hauling up there. Some of those things are downright zooming with those banners. Well, I guess I kind of lied about the last jump part a minute ago, but we are now on the actual last jump. and There's not much we can mess up now with a bit of a bounce down the block. We get to the finish line with one of the most fantastic looking cars we've ever rolled in the victory lane for that dub. Well, we'll soak in some further external evaluations here. Some more replays of my war path to the win. Take it out. Custom schemes galore here. Slamming into different cars, laying out all around. But you know what? When your car looks this good, who cares what you had to do to get to that dub as long as you did it? And you know what? I don't feel like I'm quite finished yet here today. I think we're going to go ahead and try to collect one more dub with pinball and moon gravity on. Well, if we even make it to one of these jumps, we may never land. We might actually just go on a mission to Mars. I don't know. And then we're going to find out real quick just how strong these effects are. There they are. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Why has this mode forsaken me already? There was no other way. No option. None whatsoever. That didn't include this. They're just everybody should know by now. And I'm going to get pushed all the way to the finish line, except I'm not. We'll just take one head, crack straight to the wall. That works, too. Oh, who is that, Cindric? Please don't reverse on to everything I live for. And <laughs> Chastain almost got me, too. Now, that would have been something. As we soar through the heavens up above. Oh, I'm flying now. 
That was amazing. We actually made it over it. Oh, there they go. We got him click clacking on corner exit. We got Ryan Blaney riding on his head down the track, and I'm going to have what he's having. That's a head injury right off the wall. And now my modified's really looking rough over here. Who's this poor bum just trying to make it up? It's Alex Bowman, the Hackmaster himself, struggling to survive. I'm going to be struggling to survive when I overshoot this whole corner and nose dive it. Oh, and he just a couple of style points added up right there. No big deal. How the hell am I only in seventh, too, by the way? I refuse to believe there's people doing better at this than I am, and I now have proof that they're not. I just saw three of them throw it away. Oh, my goodness. Someone's lollygagging up against the fence over here. With, oh, and Recky laid in the road, and I'm not looking at him. All right. Sorry about that. We'll call that a 50-50 accident right there. That's no biggie. At least now we can see our mission objective out the windshield clearly. We got Kurt Busch in our line of sight for the win, and he's taking himself out over here. We don't even have to get to him. He's running into the lights and stuff, and so are we just about. He just botched the landing so hard, he rolled himself over into the lights. The Domino's is not getting delivered tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It just got smashed and is now laying in the street. That is unfortunate. Well, that had to be the worst final lap in the history of final laps and all of auto racing. I literally, I think everyone literally died the end. I think they all just gave up mentally gave up mentally died i don't know some combination of all of this i don't know but what i do know is we got the dub probably because we're the only one out here with a brain and i guess i'll take that duck hide seek shelter run for the hills do what you gotta do because no one is safe down in turn one this hard cam is lucky it still functions i'm lucky i still function after that and that is where we are going to call it a day thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed it you know what to do hit that like button for me subscribe so you don't miss out on future ones go in the comments below let me know what you want to see here in the future and we'll get that crack and that's where we'll call it today thank you all so much once again and i'll see you in the next one peace